are true conservative and distant conservative across the board in the general election. We have candidates that come through the primary, but you know, I wasn't able to vote for Ronald Reagan. Since then, we had people that get elected, and then they don't always do what they promise they do. They, they don't have that consistent track record. And I believe that Ted Cruz has that consistency. That he's not only you know, saying the right things, which everybody says the right things, but you look at his, his, his track record in the Senate, and even before the Senate, when he was in the uh, Solicitor General at, uh, in, in Texas, he's been fighting for what I believe are the, the traditional conservative values across the board, whether it's social issues, you know, abortion, uh, marriage, um, just across the board on all the social issues, uh, religious liberty, or it's the economic issues, and it's the free market, and, 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 and then the constitutional issues. Just wanted to have liberty and believe that the American people can take that responsibility and use it correctly if they're given it. Um, he also has foreign policy conservatives. And so across the board, I, I believe he matches up with what, what we believe in. And it's not just that consistency, that, that it's not just he's holding the right positions, but he's fighting. He's, he's there, and you look at any battle over the last four years, and you see the person who's been leading the fight has been, has been Ted Cruz. He, he's in there, and he's, he's, he's taking a stand, even though everybody will come at him. If it's not popular for him to do it, um, he'll, he'll stand alone often. Um, the media doesn't like it. The establishment doesn't like it. And it's easy to, to paint someone as, as different than what they are when everybody's kind of against you. But I think if you, if you really look at what he stands for, um, he's just a man of conviction. Um, it's his, his background of, of being in a family that his father escaped the oppression of, of Cuba and knows what a government tyranny can be like. And so he taught Ted Cruz from, from his youth of how to, of what the Constitution is about, what freedom is about, what, what the Bible, and he taught him the truth of the, the American uh, values. And, and so I, I think it's in his being, and then he's, I believe he's, he's supernaturally gifted in his ability to debate. He was a college, college, he was a world champion Princeton debater. So you put him up against just about anybody out there, and he'll he'll, he'll, he'll tear him up, you know, in the debate field, because he's, he's gifted that way. He, he used that, and we don't have that type of conservative candidate come along often. I think it's kind of a once in a lifetime type of thing. And then, and that unique ba background of his, his values, the consistent conservative, and then his gifts of the, the debate and his, the leadership skills, I think is inspiring. I personally am, am someone that's always been marginally involved in politics. I pay attention. But never given contribute, you know, financially, never volunteer. And this is the first time I've, I've decided to give financially. I've gotten involved and, and volunteered. And I think there's people all across the country that would be willing to do that if we actually elected a real conservative. Sometimes we paint this picture that to win, we got to go into the middle. Well, the middle makes people just hold their nose and vote for them, but they don't make people go out and work for it. And if we can get, get a candidate that will actually go out and, and get some energy that we'll actually go out and work for it, I think we'll run away with this election easily. And so, you know, I believe Ted Cruz is that man, and I, I know it's easy to, to get distracted from media characterization of a man, um, but if you just look at his, his track record, um, I've been at the Cruz headquarters the last few days, and the, the energy and the, the buzz, I mean, it's just, like, there's more people there than anywhere else, and they're, they're good people that are kind people, and they're just there because they believe he stands for what we believe in, and if he can win with the momentum behind him. I would encourage you to, to talk to for Cruz tonight. And there are other great men, I love them, I love those other great men in here, but I, I believe that he's the one that has a, a chance to take out someone that I personally don't think is a great man, and I believe he has other unique gifts that, that can make him very successful. Thank you.